Christmas card from the photographers. Photos are ready. Smash him. Have I got a clean blouse? Well, I haven't washed one. Try your bedroom floor. <laughs> Mum, Bethany put crayon on that one. Bethany, I bet it were you colouring Isle of Aid all over your maths book again. How many times have I told you that dirty washing goes in the linen basket? Well, they're going to be the last photos we have of you without a number underneath. Police are wanting to interview David the Troll Platt. Don't see why we have to have these flipping photos. We all know what each other looks like. Mum, what am I going to do? Look minging as usual. These photos of our happy, loving family. Would you like me to pick them up? No, it's all right. I'll pick them up after work, take them round to me, ma'am. Why don't you get Audrey over here? Then we can look at the photos together. Hmm. Good idea. Mum! Oh, it's too late to wash one. You'll just have to pick the cleanest or, uh, should I say, the least dirty. Oh, hi, ma'am. No, everything's fine. Hey, that looks important. Oh, no, just the rest of his life. Not special. It's the unions I'm considering. Oh, well, what are you thinking of? Belfast, Exeter, Aber... Dean. Risworth. Oh, is that Wales? Oh, <laughs> don't ask for a job at streetcars, love. Oh, is there nothing closer? What's wrong with Manchester or Liverpool? No, I just fancy these. Yeah, why would you want to stay around here? Well, I'm just surprised he's not looking at local places. Don't you want him to stay? Actually, I'd rather he got right away. I mean, if he's going to study law, he ought to do it in the best place he can. Um, there was Aberdeen as well, wasn't there? Five-year course in Scotland. Hey, did you never fancy going away to uni? Not when I applied, no. Uh, now, though, I wish I had. Ah, I hope you're listening to that. You see, it's all about a new start, away from home, new people. Let's face it, it's absolutely naught for you to stay around Weatherfield for. You know, Richard rang the salon, make sure I didn't forget to come. Oh, if I'd have done that, you'd have accused me of nagging. Oh, listen, you don't get many men that are that thoughtful. Well, you can see that by the photos. I mean, look how he's looking at you. Except the one where he's got his eyes shut, of course. Oh, here they are. Hi, sweetie, come and look at these. Look how bonny Bethany is. Is David not with you? Um, no, he said Roy's with Martin. Oh, well, Hi. yes, and that's another thing. Thank you. At least uh, Richard doesn't ruin the photos. Gwen, that's horrible. No, what I mean is... Well, he really seems part of the family, doesn't he? Oh, don't let David hear you say that. Where is Richard, anywhere? Ah, uh, he's working. He's with a client and rang to say he won't be long. Oh, oh Sarah, look at that one. Look how alike you and Beth look. Yeah. Hey! Oh, do you want to lift a candy, oh, my darling? Oh, no. I just need to tie her out a bit before bed. She likes to push the buggy herself. Oh, well, she'll be running rings around you before long. And... <gasps> I've left my washing in the machine. I've got to get it dried. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Bye bye. Hiya. Hi. Listen, me mum were well out of order having a dig like that. Yeah, well, she was right though, wasn't she? I mean, about getting away. I know I would if I had the chance. You will do. What with the baby? Going to school soon herself? Lucky if the furthest I get is there. You could go somewhere local like Toy's done. I'd rather earn some money. Uh, how's your David? Well, after the black eye, that's being cocky as usual. Never mind. Yeah, Aidan had a word with the guy that hit him. Yeah, I saw threatening the kid who hit David. Guess he nowhere does that. Yeah, well, it worked, didn't it? Please, my mum for once. Flipping action man. Yeah, well, you know what they say actions speak louder than words. See ya. <laughs> 